two women are turning their passion into a project. Just last week, they started a petition to ask for the max punishment for the two people arrested. As of tonight, it has over a thousand signatures. It was down this alleyway near Scottsdale Road in McDowell where police made that gruesome discovery a dead nine-week-old husky. According to a police report, surveillance video from a nearby home shows a white Hyundai Elantra driving down the alleyway back in June. The report says the driver had their arm out the window, holding a cord that reached down to the ground, dragging an object that looked like the exact same size and shape of the puppy. Nearly a month into their investigation, police arrested these two people in connection with the death. 35-year-old Lester Paul Richmond and 32-year-old Heather Auditor. We're not going to tolerate this sort of behavior. I mean, we are not going to stand by and just let somebody do this to an animal and there not be justice. This is why Richen started this petition, demanding that Richmond and Auditor receive the max penalty if found guilty. Right now, Richmond and Auditor aren't in custody or facing charges. The Maricopa County's attorney's office told Scottsdale police they need more evidence. So what is the penalty for animal cruelty? A new bill was passed in 2019 and made the crime a felony instead of a misdemeanor. And right now, Scottsdale Police recommends Richmond be charged with a Class 5 felony. Depending if the person takes a plea agreement or goes to trial, they could be looking up to 2.5 years in prison. But Shelly doesn't feel that's enough, and she hopes this petition can help inspire more change. This puppy didn't deserve to die that way. No animal deserves to die that way. So we just wanted to make sure um, that we bring light to this sort of situation with the hope that someday the laws will become even more stringent than they are now on behalf of domesticated animals. Attorney Benjamin Taylor says it could take weeks before charges are filed in this case. As we learn more, we'll be sure to keep you updated. In the newsroom, Michaela Castillo for Arizona's Family. Michaela, thanks.